Can you explain? Oh, can you? That's a fab video. <laughs> Can you explain from the inside of this, this popular wave in culture of women hitting on women, but not for real, I know, I, we understand that. What's going on? I mean, because this would have been unknown three years ago, let alone ten years ago. This kind of faux lesbian chic, you know, what, what, what's the message? What, what? Well, see, it really, it's, it's puzzling to me because I feel that, like... Because you're not gay, Brittany. I, I know! I know, I know, I know, but what I'm trying to say is, it's like, you know, there's been so many women on TV in the 80s, mm -hmm. in the 90s, you know, in the 90s, of them kissing each other, of them, I don't really don't understand the big deal of why we did. <laughs> like, I mean, people have seen that, people have seen it, and, and, they, and then someone's ever like, oh my God, you kissed a girl, and I'm like... you're Britney, and she's Madonna, that's the kind of the deal. Oh, yeah. That, okay. That okay. energizes it a little bit But it is more. clearly, because we just saw that compilation of, of you going all the way back to when you were 16 and then coming from mm. your, your records. That is clearly a much more grown-up image. Because you've got you to gotta move on, you know, you can't yes. stay stuck in the same things. You can't be doing Hit Me Baby one more time of all course, the time. Yeah. So how, I mean, how do you see the future? What, what, where are you going? Where are you heading to? Do you want to act more or? Yeah, I would love to. I would love to. Um Right now, I'm kind of focusing on my music and stuff, but I would love to tour in March. And there's a script that I just read recently. It's really amazing. That a I film script. Do. A film script, yeah, that I'd yeah. love to do. Mm. So, yeah, in the future, I would love to. I'd love to do everything. Impossible question for you to answer, but I'll ask it anyway. You just said that sometimes you feel 40. What do you think you'll be doing when you're 40? You, 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 you have any Having kids, I would. Well, well, probably, yeah. You'd be a mum probably by then. Pro yeah. yeah, I would love to have like five or six kids and have like mm. a beautiful home. Mm. How, many and, your, how um, many in your family? How many siblings do you have? I have a, a brother and a sister. So there's three of you? Yeah, there's three and of you'd us. And you'd like more than three then? Yeah, I'd like to have like five kids. Okay. And a big home and just, you know, really beautiful. And do you think it's possible to meet a guy who isn't incredibly famous? Because, you know, at your level, it's very difficult to meet and get on with and form a relationship with someone. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you about Justin Timberlake. I couldn't care less about you and Justin Timberlake. Okay. It's your story and it's in the past. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Um, but it must be very difficult to, to form a relationship with someone who doesn't have an intimate knowledge of what it's like to be at your level in terms of international fame, hence the Justin thing. Do you think you'll ever meet someone just dead ordinary? I pray for that every yeah. night. I hope that, I mean, I do believe in Prince Charming. There's a Prince Charming <laughs> for everybody. And I hope that I find that one day. That would be very, very nice. But um, I'm very weary with guys right now. I have a little... So you're weary or wary? A little issue with guys. Like, I'm kind of like... Yeah. Hello, hi, I'm over here, but you stay over there. Yeah. I'm just kind of, you know, you I'm, you I'm, like, some... I'm in my little place right now. That you I want like some to time out? I want some time out that. from men, and, you know, and, yeah. uh, yeah. How long, how, <laughs> well, long it, how long does it take when you meet a guy, whether they're famous or not, whether they're in the business or not, how long does it take when uh, you'll, you'll have a little bell that will go off in your head where you'll think, ah, he no longer sees me as Britney Spears, he sees me as a woman. He sees me as, 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 a, as a human being. I think that you have feelings about things like you have you have to have instincts and just um hopefully i have good instincts but like you know that that feeling of just you know you run with it like it, it's like when you're in love it just like it's a feeling that takes you over you can't even think about it you're like oh okay i like you you know it's just like that type of moment yeah. so hopefully I'll experience something but like you, that. But you, I think you're right to take some time out because you were in love very young. You were, you, you, you were over, perhaps over-involved for yeah. such a young kid. You, you, the love match of your life kicked in at 16, didn't no, you? No, you're the love match of my life. No, no, all right. If, prior to all that. No, come on. You, when you were 16, you, yeah. you, you got engaged? Yeah. Whole nine yards. When uh, you were 16? When, yeah. when I was, well, I didn't get engaged when I was 16, but I met the guy and I got engaged when I was 19. And then it all broke up and it was actually I would say it was not a very positive experience because it completely shaped my my later teams yeah. um, and you know in your business I can quite understand it but it probably is I don't think it's a mistake to get involved so young yeah so but it's hard though because you when you're young it's like it's puppy love but it's real love it's love oh, yeah. yeah you know, know and you're just like yeah. it just takes you over and it's your first and you're just like oh it's so yep. intense yeah. but you're right it does it and kind it of hurts. shatters you and, yeah, <laughs> yeah it hurts just as much as a uh, divorce would do if you were 35 you know? exactly it's exactly the same emotional level everyone as much, I think as much that. as you love that's as much as you hurt yeah, I think. Very you're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, by the way, just just on a sort of offshoot of that, you met our Colin, haven't you, Colin Farrell? Oh yes. Yeah, he told he told us because you know he's he, we're very fond of him here, and um, he told us he had. I'll tell you what he said. He said, "Yes, Brittany and I had a bit of a mooch. 
Now, what that, <laughs> what it mooch is, I haven't the faintest idea. Have a beer they I serve on the West Coast, I think. A mooch is just a little kiss. A little yeah, exactly. kiss. Yes. Yes. He's very sweet, isn't he's he? A, he's an adult. So? I, think I find him so refreshing because he's not one of those, like, L.A. people that are like, how do I look? Or, yeah. like, no, he's, he's not, not political, yeah. never talks politi politically correct. No. He just says what he likes and what he wants to say. Yeah. And yeah. I find that so refreshing. And, I yeah. love to be around people and like that. isn't it great that he's got his family around him? Like, when he was, he's been here a couple of times. And, you know, he has his sister with him. His sister is his manager. Yeah. You know, and she was she younger than Jesus Pierre. Oh, Colleen, Pierre. Colleen, That's Colleen. right, yeah. Colleen, yeah. And it's so adult, normal and yeah. sort of healthy and all that. I love yeah. them. They're One more question nice. about you being 40. Oh, um, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> if, well, hey, you went there. Um, if, uh, if you were to have a daughter of 16 uh, when you're 40, and she said, and she was doing a bit of showbiz and stuff, and she said, right, I've got the chance to do a single that I think is going to do what Hit Me did for you when you were 16, would you say, go for it, girl? Or would you say, can we go and have a long talk somewhere? This is a very big deal. These, th this is going to give you a lot of issues, you know, that we need to talk about. I would, oh, that's a hard question. Mm -hmm. I'd probably have a long talk with yeah. her, and she'd probably disregard everything I say. Yeah. That's a job, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> disregard everything I say, and she'd probably <laughs> want to do it anyways. Yeah. And, you know, and that's the thing that, that with parents that I think that you just have to trust your kid. You know, mm -hmm. it's easier said than done. Like, if your kids falls in love at 16 and they want to get married, I'm not saying let them do it. No. That's what I'm like, that's my horrible. daughter. But, like, even I have a friend, she's 18, and she got married, and she's completely happy, and mm -hmm. she's living in the moment, and she's happy. So yeah. I would just probably tell my kid to do what makes her happy. How long has she been married for? Um, for, like, two years. What, two years. I think that's so wise, because we, you know, we've got a 16-year-old daughter and a 17-year-old son, and obviously you try and steer them and point them, and, you know, you're there for an, with an umbrella, as it were, for exactly. them, but you're absolutely right. Once they've decided to do something or go for something, you have to let them do it. Yes. You yes, simply yes. don't have the control, and mm -hmm. if you try and exert the control, they'll cheat on you, as yeah, it were. They'll, they'll do it against anyway. you, so yeah. you have to just believe in your kid. Yeah. So. Mm. Well, look, it's lovely to meet you, you properly. Too. For the you first too. time. Thank you, you very much thank indeed you. for talking to us. Yeah. Oh, that is a lovely I know. bracelet. Isn't it cool? It's gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, thank you much. Isn't it cool? It's cool. Is it, where's that from? I think you guys gave it to oh, us. Oh, that's our present. Oh, oh, we it matches the it. Right, matches it matches the, the bag. bag. Of course, yes. yes. The, bag. the one that I stitched great. earlier, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to see you. You too. All right, good luck. Cheers. Now then, it seems that the creepy...